friends, it's Miss Bo here with this week's craft. And this week we will be making this adorable little bird's nest necklace. It has an acorn cap that I have collected from my mini morning walks pre-drilled and some paper bag inside for the nesting material. And of course, little glass seed beads to represent the eggs. We will be finger crocheting some yarn to make the actual necklace to wear. It's a fun, quick craft, and I'm looking forward to starting with you. So in your materials packet, you found a little scrap of paper bag. You found a collection of beads, two acorn crap caps pre-drilled. So you do have enough to make two. You also should, would be finding a mini. It's a little tiny spool of yarn like this. Some of you already have a mini in a pack that you have already previously received from Miss Jewel. So get that out, we will be using that. You will be also using some white glue, little tiny bit of it, just a little bit, a little bit of crayon, and of course scissors. Let's begin. Now I have already unwrapped my mini and cut a length of yarn for my necklace. At this point, we are going to begin finger crocheting a length of the, the length of this yarn, okay? So we begin by making a slip knot. So I will take my yarn like so over my finger, wrap it around to make an X on the top. So I take the end, one more time, the end is on the front of my fingers place my thumb on top of that, bring it around again to make an X on the top. Now I can take the top of that X and bring it through like so to make my first slip knot. Voila. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. I have my length of yarn right here on front, front of my fi two fingers, my index and middle finger. At the front is my yarn. Make sure I'm not blocking my light. And then I put my thumb right there, flip it over, make an X, and pull the top of that X through to make my slip. Having a little tail is perfectly fine because that is the tail that gets threaded through our little hole that we have in our acorn cap. Do you see that there? So we're gonna thread that through before we stuff it, okay? But first, like I said, the slip knot, nice little tail, so for us to thread it through. Now we're gonna take that little loop that we have in the slip knot and what we're going to do is we're gonna start finger crocheting and we're just gonna make a chain, okay? So we take the original loop and we place the length of the working thread right underneath it and pull it through nice and tight, making your first length in your chain. And you're gonna do that again and again and again. So let's do it again. There's my loop at the bottom right there. Pull the chain. My loop, my working yarn, pull through, make a chain. My loop, Sometimes the loop gets a little crazy there, but you kind of have to just kind of tuck it back down to a length that's workable. And we're gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up this process and I'll meet you at the end when I'm done, okay? So you keep on looping and pulling through and I'll meet you in a second, okay? So 
So now I'm getting to the point of my chain where I'm pretty much gonna wanna stop. And in case you haven't noticed, up until this point, I have been making little loops, right? Not pulling this little tail end through. Very important, right? Because we're making a chain. Otherwise, we would be making a knot, okay? So I'm gonna do one more chain, pulling it nice and tight through the loop. And one more time, pulling it. There's my chain, making sure I still have my tail. Okay, now it's okay for me to finish it off because I'm ready. I've done the length that I've wanted to do for my chain, okay? So I'm going to take it, take the tail, and pull it all the way through this time, making the knot for my chain, okay? Now we're going to take the chain that we just threaded and we're going to put it through one of the holes of our acorn caps. So using one of the sides of the yarn that was not obviously chained, the end, I like to kind of get it together like so. So that it would fit through the holes. at the end there and you can kind of see it coming through and keep pulling voila now at this point I'm gonna pull it and I'm going to make a knot see that I pulled it through the hole there and now I'm just going to knot that. Once, one knot and two knots. Just like that. One knot. And two knots. Now that I have those knotted, I'm going to put this aside and make, I'm gonna put this aside now and I'm going to make my actual debris to go into my bird's nest. What goes inside is just like little strips of the paper bag with a little bit of glue and obviously some beads. So let's begin to make that, okay? I take the paper bag and I kind of add some brown, darker colors, Got some browns, because it looks like the nature, you want to emulate the nature that a bird would basically go and collect. When the birds were making the nests in my spider plants, they would come back with all of the different twigs and different herbs and stuff that were growing around on my block, dead flowers, all kinds of things. And so this kind of creates that illusion. Now remember, I gave you enough to make two. So one side is just plenty, believe me. And now I'm just going to keep it looking 
really organic and natural and I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna rip it into little pieces, little pieces. Like so. And we'll start with that. Now I take these little pieces and I kind of twist them up to make them look like grass, twigs, things like that. And those was, are eventually what gets kind of scrunched in there and glued in. So I'm gonna make a bunch of these and um, I will see you on the other side. And I'm back and I have all of my little sticks that all of the little birds would have collected and I'm gonna get ready to go ahead and glue them inside of my cap that has been pre-threaded with my crocheted um, <clears throat> my finger crocheted yarn necklace okay so that's threaded through it's knotted and this is where we're gonna use a little bit of glue. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the sticks that we've just made and kind of just kind of fit them in to our cap with a little glue. And a dab of glue. Kind of like that. And so my white glue is inside and let's start packing it. And you want to kind of create the illusion that the birds have been going back and forth collecting this debris for the necklace. There's one layer. Kind of push that down in there like so. Okay, take a little bit more of my glue, just another dab, there we go. Cause that little part right there in the corner needed some. last little piece in there right on top and that looks good to me nice and filled with all of the little twigs that a bird's nest would be filled with to support the baby's eggs now at this point we can take just one last little dab right in the center and begin to place our beads right, drop them right into the center, plop of that glue, plop, plop. Remember, I gave you enough to make two. So you can make one for yourself, make one for your friend or a loved one. And there's the bird's nest with the robin's eggs blue and the other ones. We're gonna allow this to dry completely and then we'll be done. Now, my bird's nest is completely dry. There's my little sparkling jewel eggs inside of it with its debris. And I wanna make sure it's nice and ready to hang from my neck. So really quickly, one more time, I'm gonna do one more knot to anchor it, okay? I'm gonna show you one more time. We're gonna cross it over just like that Pull this top string through, cross it over, and pull it through, making a nice tight seal, okay? And that's it. And then I'm going to go ahead and give that a trim with my scissors so that it doesn't. And then that is able to hang like the little necklace that it is. 
I hope you guys had fun making this with me. I had a lot of fun making this with you and it's a great way to use up little bits of nature that I found on my morning walks. Thanks for crafting with me. Happy crafting. I'll see you next time. Okay, friends? Bye.